is in this House to support the Marrakesh Treaty. Thank you very much, Madam Speaker. I call the Honourable Jackie Dean. Thank you, Madam Speaker. It's an easy thing to get full consensus across this House to support the Marrakesh Treaty um, because it has been uh, in the machinery of, of government um, under various ministers for a few years now and has just passed through the able chairmanship of Melissa Lee in the then uh, previous Parliament's uh, Commerce Select Committee in its treaty examination. And uh, so any question that the House might not support this, I, I don't think carries any weight, particularly when as politicians we talk to the people we represent and, and those who, who have access to only 10 per cent of published works and how frustrating that is for them, people who are members of the Blind Foundation, blind citizens of New Zealand. We've met them all. We've, we've talked to them in our, our own, in our own parts of New Zealand and, and heard their frustrations, and, and particularly on behalf of uh, young people and children who are making their way through the education system and come up against this barrier of, of only having 10 per cent of printed works available to them in a, in a format that they can access and use for themselves. And so the Marrakesh Treaty uh, and this examination in the House is another good step along the way to enacting this treaty so that we can join the other 30-odd international um, uh, countries around the world who will, in their own way, in their own legislative way, provide exceptions to some form of Commerce Act. In our case, it's Section 69 of the Commerce Act, which will provide exceptions um, to uh, non-profit organisations, and that is so they can access this material in a form that can be used and then can distribute it to the people who wish to use it. Madam Speaker, many of the issues in, in the Marrakesh Treaty have been traversed in the House, and I see that um, the uh, government members are taking full course, so it doesn't seem to me that I can add anything particular in, in traversing the details of this treaty except to say that it enjoys the full support of National, as it did when we were the government, we moved this process along, and now I'm very pleased to see the Honourable Chris Fafoy continuing the work of previous Ministers of Commerce in enacting this very worthwhile and worthy treaty. Thank you. Michael Agolras Garaman. 